Hey guys, you're just in time. Come on in. Welcome to my craft bar. It's happy hour here at Chrissy's Craft Bar. Get it? It's a bar. So pegboard's really crucial to visually displaying your tools that you're gonna be using to make things. I highly recommend everybody has one if you have space for one. For scissors, pliers, my heat gun, a couple different glue guns. I have a travel glue gun, I have like a main glue gun, wire, soldering iron, needle nose pliers, bigger pliers, eyelet punchers, and then of course alt tape, electrical tape, gapping tape, duct tape, painter's tape, scotch tape, lots of tape, rope and chain, which isn't really for cosplay, or is it? This is a finished product shelf. I used to take this bookshelf to craft fairs. I usually try to be involved in as many craft fairs as possible because I believe in artisans and DIYers making their own really awesome hand goods. Hand goods, that's a terrible word. They're making their own things from hands. Things. Um, one thing I'm, I'm known for is my mini hats and my hair accessories. I do headbands and fascinators, these little hair fascinators. You can clearly tell what these are underneath. Um, they're bra inserts, but if you don't want to use them for your bra, put them on your head. It's kind of great, right? <laughs> a Dalek one, which is a prototype, but if you're a Doctor Who fan, you, you may or may not be in love with this. Um, and I'm working on the TARDIS one that lights up. And if you subscribe, you're going to see the making of the TARDIS fascinator and the mini top hat that's going to light up. Below, I just had a, it was just a nice little spot to put my paints and all my glues and my Mod Podge for my decoupaging. This is Marvelously Macabre, which is my side business, which I make all these little fun things for and I craft here and there for commissions or craft fairs. If you can guess what video game this is from, I might send you something really nice. But you have to subscribe and you have to like this video. Think about it. I'm not lying about where this is what this is. Think about Whoa! it. Let's go down. <laughs> All right, so I have a cabinet here. I'm a sucker for going to thrift stores and finding these kind of plastic bin drawer things to put more things in, which makes me get more things, which is not good. Hoarders and cosplay, the struggle is real. <laughs> I keep all my spray paints down here, as well as my spray glues. So I've got spray 90, spray adhesive, because I do wig mods, and I use all the glue when I style wigs. I have bins of eyeballs, because, you know, Halloween's coming. <laughs> wow, and magic cards for things that are coming soon. My airbrush. I have two airbrushes. Can't leave home without them. And here are the top five tools to constructing a costume. Scissors. Don't cut yourself. There are fabric scissors and there are regular scissors, so do not ever mix them up, but you have to cut things. Just be very careful. Glue, or adhesives, or tape, or anything that's gonna stick something to other things. Needle and thread. I like to hand sew. You don't need a sewing machine to make costumes. Don't tell the, the seamstress that though, because she'll get really, really mad. Paint. Not necessarily pink all the time, but acrylic spray paint's good. There's also new life spray paint for leather and boots, and you can hand paint things, but definitely paint. And of course, the number one, the number one biggest thing from your heart and your soul and your brain is imagination. It's very important to be creative. There's no wrong or right way how to do it. There's just your way, and you can make it. Thanks for joining me in my craft bar, guys. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.